on this episode of the... Okay, go on and say it. Eagle Talent. Mitsu Guy. Came back out here, it's still hot, but I just wanted to keep chugging on this inner side, inside part. So it said to remove the AT shift cable, the key shift interlock cable, and the brake shift interlock cable, which is those three right there. And I believe I did that. This is here and there. I removed that one. I removed this one, which was under there like that. And then I removed this one as well that was chilling right there I put the bolts the nuts back on here right there and right there because I'm just it's gonna come out with this shifter I believe so the next one says I have to remove the key shift interlock or it's saying to Oh, to remove the key shift interlock cable, which is located somewhere over here. So I gotta figure that out, and then I'll keep chugging along. I'm gonna try to get to um, somewhere on the second page, probably to pass through the shifter linkage cables for the transmission for that rubber boot, just to make sure all that stuff is, is in there. So I'll wait for the sun to go down a little bit more because it's getting hot in here. And then I'll see how to dis uh, disconnect the key shift interlock cable. So I managed to get the shifter assembly out. Held in by these four right here. Four. And this is the top cable and the side cable and the other cables on this side. <coughs> so all this stuff is good. <coughs> I'll probably clean that part out but all that stuff is exposed. I think the next thing is to get the key shipped in. Remove the cover around the steering column. Be careful as the bottom piece is bolted in this steering column in the top piece. You should find a cable running into the key cylinder. Remove the screw and take off the cover. That will allow you to remove the key shift interlock cable. Replace the cover using the screws. The brake pedal has the brake shift interlock cable clipped to it. Unclip it, that, and pull the cable off. Unhook the brake light switch. Plug from the brake pedal assembly. Remove the cotter pin in the cleavage pin that connects the brake cylinder, master cylinder to the brake pedal. Unhook the return spring from the brake pedal. Remove floor nuts and two bolts and hold the brake pedal. Assembly in peace. Pull the AT brake pedal assembly out. Okay, that seems like a lot. <clears throat> so I'm going to start off with the key shift interlock cable. So there's a key cylinder. Those are the screws that I need to undo to be able to get that cable off from right there. So those four screws and then let's see what's under there. Okay, so I disconnected all four of those screws from these four holes and this thing just fell out just like that. So it wasn't attached for anything. So. When I pull this though, you can hear that noise. When I pull this, this goes. So that's just confirmation that that just goes there, which is kind of cool. So we got that done. Let's see what else is next. All right, so I have made some progress with the inside of the Talon to convert it to automatic to manual. So I had to take this panel off as you can see, I have the cables exposed. I've got one of the clips here, as well as under here. I disconnected the switch 
I disconnected the cotter pins. There was a cotter pin up here. There's a cotter pin over here. I disconnected this line right here. And there was a bolt on this side. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but there was a bolt over here that goes all the way across to that side, which is up here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's right. That bolt all the way goes through all the way to that side where there is a nut on that side, which I took off. It took a hell of a lot. It was a 15, but it stripped down to a 9 16. So I got it off with 9 16. I took that bolt off of right there as well. And yeah, I detached that brake line. So now all I have to do, it says take off four bolts to be able to take off the brake assembly. So I think I am going to do that. And then I'm gonna have Randy come over here and just take it out uh, for me just so I can know I'm doing it correctly. And then I'm gonna work on the clutch master cylinder to drill two holes in the engine bay and to put that in there. So I'm almost done with the inside. Oh, as well, I detached, there's a cable oh, right here. This cable, it's a detach. Yep, that goes to here. So I can take that off. And um, yeah, just knocking all of our stuff out to be able to make this a manual. So I'll keep pushing, wait for Randy to get here. So we can take that pedal off. And then I will, I'm gonna try to move my mom's car to bring in the other the ready clips so I can have both so cars side by side so I can look at what I need to do as well take off the um, the brake pedal and the clutch pedal from the uh, other Eclipse as well because that needs to go in here so in a little bit of time I'm going to try to figure out what's why I need probably needs gas get this knocked out of the way and moved out of here and then um, start working on the match cluster cylinder. Um, master cylinder. All right, guys. So I just switched out the old ECU, which is the auto ECU, with the manual ECU that I got from the donor. I'm not even sure if I had you guys see the donor or whatnot, but I'll show you some clips of what that looks like or what it looked like right about now. So it is back at the house. Uh, had to move the talon. Uh, me and Randy pushed it over here. It's a heavy car. Um, I might, I don't know. We have a lot of, well this, now that we pushed it up here, it feels like we have a lot more room. I could probably put that talon over here and make a little bit more space but um, I'm going to take some of the stuff out and put them in the storage little bins over there and just start cleaning it out cleaning out the, the back and everything what are you whining for but I'm just going to get it going I managed to get everything out of the back and out of the back seat and there's nothing really else in there, loose or any parts in there. So let me show you what parts are in here. We got the door side panel, we got the header, we got the sub, subframe brace, I believe, um, probably going to the front. I got the door trim that goes uh, along the side of the, the door. I got a couple of um, intakes. Um, not sure if these are all to the car. I have a glove box situation, a heat shield for the manifold, the cams, both the cams, brand new set of a brand new axle. I got one of these and two sets of headlights. And a freshly looking good tack for a GS non-turboed um, Eclipse, but it, there's zero on the odometer. So, and it got a Accord or a Honda random headlight. So, got a lot of parts. 
um, as the donor car. So, um, I think the next thing I'm gonna do for this one is probably take out the seats and then see, you know, I was trying to match it up this panel right here with this, but I don't know. It seems like it'll work, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to re-double check it and see because they look, even though they look different, well, yeah, they are different because you can see the light, the, or that maybe just be the, that triangle right there, that design in the inside, that one is different too. So I'm not sure if that makes a difference or anything, but uh, definitely gonna have to figure out something. And it, I think this one, this, I think this, this one's a little bit wider. I don't know, I have to figure it out. But she's all basically cleaned out and we're gonna figure out some other stuff with her. I'm gonna put all this stuff away. So before I get too ahead of myself, I'm just gonna put these screws back in here and just gonna have it prepped for, to install. Right now, I'm just taking everything on top apart. I took off the battery bracket, which is sitting over there. And what else did I take off? Battery bracket, the bracket that the battery bracket, uh, plate sat on. And then I started on the ECU. So I'm gonna reconnect the manual one back on here with the same screws and then set it to the side to ready, uh, ready to get, I'll uh, set it in the car to get installed when I'm ready to put everything back together. Long. Disconnected the one cable that I have from the automatic. And then I took the EC wires over here to move them out of the way. And it really doesn't seem all that much I have to disconnect. There's two lines that are coming from, I think under here from the radiator or whatever. There is one plug right here that has all these wires in. There's the starter right there with the negative bolt. And then the transmission mount back there with that bracket. And then this, this mount right here. And then that's about it. And then, oh, and then all the transmission bolts. And that's about it. And we can take this, take her out. So I'm gonna wait for a little while because the sun is getting hotter right now and I am already sweating. So we'll continue back this in a little while. All right. Making progress. Got the pedal off, Randy came over. He took off some more bolts, but he didn't take off all of them to be able to get it off. He got this loose, but he did not get the whole bracket loose to be able to get this whole bracket loose you have to like I was trying to tell him disconnect these four and disconnect these two which are these ones right here and these ones right here these ones right here go on these four and these nuts or bolts whatever screws or whatever you want to say go right at the top of here on the top and then the four down here and the two up here which is this one so I'll turn my alarm off now I'm just gonna get this cable off because this is con connected to that just like that so I can rip that out and then I can move on to trying to probably move that stuff out of the way so I can take out the shifter linkage cables tune in next time on the eagle all right eagle talent